Hello and welcome to another video. So we're here on the 2021, uh, oh, what is it, Spring, oh my god, I want to say Millville, but it's not. It's like Spring Mill MX, I'm so sorry I've got the name wrong already. But I will link the um, track in the description below. I will link the creator's name up above your head and name of the track now because I'm an idiot and I forget stuff so quickly. Um, but right here on the, uh, on the 450 and... I don't know if you guys know, some of you will know, I now officially own a KX450F. And obviously we're going to have some bias towards the 450 in this game now, because you know, when you own something in real life, you, you want to you wanna see what it's about in game. And I, I do enjoy hopping on the 450 occasionally, I just think it's a, it's a good bike to, uh, to test the waters with a little bit. It's got great power, it's got great handling. And um, I'm always on the 250 and 125, so sometimes I just like like changing it up. It's definitely more difficult to ride, um, and, and in real life as well. But it's got such power and really good handling. It's just nice to change it up. Interestingly, I actually had my um, first hater the other day tell me that I should stay off the of 450 um, because I'm terrible at it and uh, I'm slow as hell and I can't ride for shit. So. You know, it's always nice to have that that feedback. So you know, he's probably right. He's not wrong. It was just it was just funny hearing it from someone else. It's normally me saying it. Um, but yeah, we have, what we have done with this track is actually turn the deformation up to two and a half. Um, I think this track would be perfect to get some ruts involved. You see, I've spun a few laps on here already. I did have a video with the 350 ready to go, um, but I reshot it because the audio wasn't quite right. I've gone back to my previous mic and uh, hopefully it should sound just, just how it did before to be honest. So I did buy a new microphone, I could set it up, it, um, I'm not in the right area to set it up. Uh, it just picks up all the background noise unfortunately, so we're back on this one until I can figure it out. But yeah, this um, I don't normally like fast flowy tracks, it's, it's, I prefer a bit rough, you know what I mean, a bit rough. Um, but this one, this one's awesome, so I, I did link to create a name up above, I should have read the description of it better, but I was going through MX, MXB mods and I was like, ooh, let's give this a go, and uh, I instantly liked it, so it's, it's rare for me to like a fast flowy track, but this one, this one's pretty decent. I do apologise if you hear coughing in the background, me and my girlfriend have a stinking cold, and to be fair, I did give her the cold, so I can't, I can't get mad at her for coughing because I was the one who gave her the cold. I, uh, got a stinking cold but I was in Germany and I think I gave all my, the people I worked with in Germany the cold as well. They call me the spreader, just off not the, off not the good stuff, just colds unfortunately. And uh, yeah, I, I'm never normally ill ever and uh, this year I've been ill twice and I haven't had a cold, I've been ill for like three, four years so maybe my immune system's down a bit with this whole wearing a mask and washing washing your hands more than once every six months, malarkey, who knows, I'm so used to eating mud and, and drinking out of toilets that I've had to stop all that, so my immune system's obviously gone to crap. But yeah, this, this, um, sorry, I know I'm going away from this track a little bit, but this track is genuinely good, it's got some, like, these braking bumps are awesome, they feel quite realistic, like there, I should have been stood up instead of sat down. Um, the rats, 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 rats are really good, the jumps are awesome, they've got some good, uh, good little whipper doodles. And I'm hoping this, this deform works well. I've only got it at 2.5 at the moment, but I'm hoping after enough laps it will, it will come through. Maybe I've got it a little bit low. I did um, I did try it at max deformation ages ago, and it's just crazy, and it's fun, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel realistic. It just digs into the ground for the sake of digging into the ground, and this, this might hopefully be a little bit better. It might be a little bit low at 2.5, and plus there's only one bike out here, but I can see a few rats swarming. Yeah, this track's good. I haven't really had time to... to ooh, should, that was like... In, what line was that? That was a terrible line. I haven't really had time to figure it all out yet. But um, yeah, it's got some great flow to it. Some of the jumps are really good. It's one of those, like, I'm talking and not really paying attention. And it's a brand new track to me. And um, I'm still able to, to semi-get around it. So yeah, it's, 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 it's well worth checking out. And I know there was a, a bit of controversy... When I did my first ever track review, uh, I did one of Higo's tracks. Oh my goody gumdrops. And um, he messaged me and said he was a bit upset with my review. And we, we had a genuine back and forth. And uh, he was really cool about it. He said, yeah, I totally understand where you're coming from. I redid his track. And um, I haven't officially done the review on it, but I will say his textures are, are so much better. His, his track flow is better. And, and, he's new, and he's new to it. So, you know, I, 
I'm not trying to take anything away from anyone. Building a track must be super difficult. And, and maybe, yeah, I, I could have been a little bit less harsh. I was just trying to give an honest, out-of-the-box opinion. And it's never easy to hear criticism of any kind, you know. The other day when someone in the public lobby said I was horribly slow and that I shouldn't be riding a 450, it's like, yeah, I, I had to kind of laugh at it. But there, there was a small part of my ego that was like, ah, oh, that kind of sucked to hear. And, and, you know, that's just part of it. Not everyone's going to like you. And um, that's an important thing to realize through life. And to be honest, I'd say for every person that doesn't like you, you're not missing out because if you're always yourself, you're going to find people that are just like you. And I'd rather have two good friends than a hundred fake ones. So, you know, um, it, I, I saw a video by TK Smokey the other day asking if MX bikes had become toxic. And my, my initial reaction was, was no, because the, the discord that we've got for, for my guys and, you know, the people I talk to in the community, 90% uh, of my interactions have been nothing but good. And they've been amazing and everyone's been really supportive, the YouTube comments, the, the channel growth. I'm, I'm hyper aware that there's so much I need to improve with every aspect of YouTube. And the fact that I'm still growing it is amazing really. Like I don't feel like I deserve it based on what I've been doing, I could be doing so much more. But then I went away and um, did some public lobby riding and I've just, I've almost washed my hands of public lobbies because getting a start, even unless you pull a whole shot, you're going to get absolutely wiped out, like no one puts their brakes on. Um, I've noticed as well that I've got more and more people going backwards on the track, there's more and more people intentionally cutting the track to take you out or to try and race you and um, that, that's really unfortunate to see, like you don't get that so much in organised events. Um, but with my schedule, there's only so many organized events I can do, and so I, I like to rely on, oh my god, I like to do public lobbies because, um, you know, it's just fun to get in there, mix it up, do some racing, but it's getting harder and harder for me to be in public lobbies, because I, I find myself raging at them loads as people just being, just general dicks, to be honest. And um, I've even noticed it with some of the Discord chats that people are getting really self-entitled, people are getting, you know, big for their boots, and and getting really salty and at the end of the day guys it's a video game and I absolutely love MX bikes for what it is it's a video game that I like to chill and play for uh, play with so I, I'm not taking anything too seriously but I, I think MX bikes has to be careful um, with the way the community is going if it, it becomes unbearable and it's not just the younger the younger kids as well everyone likes to, to label the younger kids there's grown-ass men in their 30s acting like they're 10 um, and you know that, that that will kill the game. It's got a small player base already, and we need more positivity in this, not not more toxicness in the game at all. And my channel is not about that whatsoever. Like I noticed the other day when I was playing, people were cutting the track just to intentionally take me out, and I'm like, oh, why would I want to do that? You know, I'm not I'm not the best player in the world, but at the same time, you know, I, I want to come on and Jesus Christ, this ride is terrible at least have a decent race and, and hope that people are doing the same but look at these ruts look at these ruts forming how much fuel have we got left 1.6 this is looking this is looking naughty i think it could be worth turning up just a little bit more but it's starting to get uh starting to get rough Let's see if we can get a good solid couple laps in i'm really enjoying the 450 lately i'm just being biased obviously because i own one now There was a there was a period of time where I only rode 450 to help with my 250 riding. I I think it did a good job. Oh my gosh! These ruts are looking tidy. This is this is probably you imagine with a, a 20 man gate on here, this would be the perfect level of deformation, maybe slightly higher. Look at that! Look at the braking bumps and all that. That is cool, man. I love that about, oh god, I love when tracks incorporate that, when they get that, like the bike chatters when it goes through those corners, is that the right word, chatter, makes me sound so British, when the bike chatters, and um, yeah, I, I love it when, when, when stuff like this appears, I don't know if this is the best deform in any game, oh my god, Matt, stop waffling along, you would stop falling off then, um, but with it slightly turned up, it is good, you can see like all of this appearing here, <coughs> Sorry, I've still got a cough and a cold. <coughs> <coughs> it just blew your eardrums out probably with that cough. Sorry. <coughs> I might have to cut that out. Yeah, you can see all this. All this definitely appearing from here. I might. I should have tried 3.5. It's currently on 
uh, 2.5, maybe 3.5 would have been the one. Right, I'm going to stop messing about actually putting a couple of laps here because we are, we are not doing well. This is looking good though, this is looking very good. Look at that outside getting all mashed. M -m -m mashed. I do think default um, deformation needs to be just a tad higher. And the reason being is eventually, because like corners like this, where if you get enough people go through them, it would force me then to take that outside. Um, just like in real life, once a, oh my god, i got to remember that's there. Once a corner starts to deteriorate, then we're looking for other lines, and that would be good to see as an update within bikes that eventually the premier line gets taken away. Um, because especially with the fast guys, they always figure out a way not to not to take cheater lines whatsoever, but to exploit the track as, as much as possible to get the fastest line, which is what you're supposed to do, of course. But um, with slightly higher deformation, you would see that taken, taken away, and then other lines become available, other lines become quicker, and I think that would add a real dynamic to the game. Like adding rain as well, if possible, making traction limited would, would be another great aspect to the game. Let's see if I can get in a, a focus lap here because we're doing a chatty chatty ride at the moment. I don't know where the actual finish line is on here. Take this wide line. Oh, it just feels good. It might not be quick, but it feels good. I love this little transfer as well over to the side. This, this little transfer is wicked. Woo! Probably on a 450 should be doubling through these. This deformation is, is working out well though. I'm enjoying it. I played on um Oh my god Matt. You can tell I've been off for a week in Germany because I am riding absolutely terrible. It's funny how you lose muscle memory. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh it's gone. Oh, oh look at all that bump. That's wicked. I've got to start using deform more, oh, man. This, this looks really cool. So this line getting chewed up here, like this inside starting to get a good chew in. It's that rats in the face of the jumps. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. This is what it's about, man. This is what it's about. Sneaky little... Yeah, see all these breaking mumps should have been stood up there for sure. It's amazing after I rode for the first time um, in, in years, a couple of weeks ago, and it's amazing how many, if you've never rode a motocross bike before, like, how much you're stood up is insane. You're, you're stood up, like, 90% of the time. I watched my uncle ride, he's, like, legit rapid. And uh, he literally is always stood up, unless he's either on a straight, or if he's literally about to dip into a rut. So, like, he'll stay stood up nearly all the time. And it's amazing how taxing that is on your body. Um, but it's obviously for like bike control, gripping the bike of your legs, it's obviously so much more beneficial technique wise because when you sat down, the bike's riding you more than you're riding the bike, it's kind of kicking you in the butt, kicking you about. And um, yeah, it's amazing, like TV doesn't know justice, like pro riders make it look so easy, it's unbelievable. But then what sport doesn't, like, every professional sport is, um, is going to make it look easy. Man, I'm really impressed with this track and this deform like this. I believe you have to have a daddy server to get it on multiplayer. It's a shame that's not just the setting in get in the normal servers that you can just choose more meet more to, God, get your words out. More deformation. Struggling to talk and play. Alright, one more lap, one more lap. We've only got 0.6 litres of fuel anyway. I've probably made this a good 20 minute video. I love chatting. I obviously love the chat. Look at that, that that deform's getting real good. You're looking real nice. That was quicker. Loving the 450 at the moment. Loving it. I think you've got shot slightly for this. Maybe not that much. Oh, a cheeky little finding that smooth on the inside. Oh, cheeky cheeky. That's another great thing why having deformation on like this is perfect because it forces you to explore different avenues. This is great though, I'd like to do a race on this. It's nice and wide so you can like take multiple lines. There's a lot, there's another inside there. Try sneaking around the outside here where it's less rough. Ooh, that felt good. Nice little outside to outside again. That getting, oh, that looked wicked. Look at all, the, look at all this down here, this looks sick. 
Oh, map. <clears throat> yeah, I'm impressed. I might, uh, I might whack the deform up just a little bit more next time. Like three, three and a half. This track, this track is absolutely perfect for it. There's so many line variations as well. You get like 10 or 20 people on here. Look at all this chop here. That, that is sick. Love that in the game. Feels good. Look, let's dive to this inside. All that fresh, fresh baby powdery stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely rusty. Like, I... I'm not very good at the game, and then to come away after a week of not playing again it takes you a it takes you a hot minute to get back into it. Oh, oh, oh! Should have stayed up there. Should have stayed up there. My butt's gonna be sore. Yeah. That was a terrible line. But yeah, that was a. This is a wicked little track. Give it a go. And uh, I've got plenty more videos to come, guys. I'm really enjoying being back in bikes. We're on the road to a thousand subs. That is the goal. And and as I said before, I um, when I got my next practice day, there will be a motor vlog podcast is coming. So yeah, yeah, I just want to be involved in the community, involved in in everything really. I love everything moto, and I want to be that positive experience within the community. A, I may not be the best rider in the world, far from it. You know, I'm never going to be smashing any world records. But we're here having a good time playing a game we love with uh, with a fan base that's just been awesome. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, plenty more to come. In the meantime, please check out a few of my videos because that really helps the click-through rate and all the whole uh, keeps the uh, demons at YouTube happy, which keeps me happy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, I'll catch you next time.